Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Okay, so as you can tell, Jordan and I are in the car right now. Uh, we're on our way to a dermatology office because I am getting this thing removed. Now, this mole has been with me since as long as I can remember. I don't even remember when I like when it first popped up, but it's been like it hasn't been there since birth. I don't think that moles can be like there since birth. I think they like develop after birth, like after. I don't know. I don't know when it like popped up. It's been with me my whole life, pretty much. Um, and it's always been like an insecurity of mine. There's a reason why uh, when I was younger, I would always part my hair to the left. I still do. That's just kind of like my natural part now because my purpose was to hide this mole right here. And this side of my face has always been like not preferred to this side because of this mole. And I've been putting it off for so long. Uh, I don't know why. So I finally booked an appointment to go get it looked at and possibly removed. And that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because, I mean, it's not like, it's a pretty good size mole. So that's a pretty good piece of skin that's gonna come off if they do remove it. Um, but I figured I would vlog this and kind of show you guys um, the steps and what it entails because you know I put it off for so long because I was scared I was anxious and if you have a mole that you are trying to get rid of also maybe this video can help you um, and kind of give you an idea of what to expect I am gonna fill out some paperwork that I printed off from the website so that we can get this thing going Okay, so we just pulled up to the dermatologist's office. Um, I'm going to try to record if the dermatologist lets me. Of course, you know, it's his rules. Um, so if he's not comfortable with me recording, I'm not gonna be able to, but I'll give you guys an update and let you guys know what the procedure was and um, kind of explain all that for you guys. But we're gonna go in and check in and go from there, guys. To the exam room. This is like the nicest doctor's chair I've ever sat in. By the way, Jordan's here with me. Um, here's the mole. Hopefully, after this, it won't be there anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and numb it up. Okay. One, two, three. A little sting. Okay. And if you are gonna do that, you might want to zoom in or get closer. I'm happy to. Yeah. You can just yeah. hover over me if you want. Oh, fantastic. Um, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> I can get a catch when he does it because he's pretty fast. Is it really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So it's getting bigger as we talk, and that's just the anesthesia going in and sort of slowly infiltrating the skin. I don't even feel it. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. It's anesthesia that we, we mix. It's slide came with a little bit of bicarb, which makes it not hurt and less acidic. So I'm just going to press on you a little bit as I dissolve the anesthetic into your skin. I have a little hip cleanse. Mm -hmm. Another little connection right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> here, here, the 
Is it seriously it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's a little aqua for us. It's a little. It's like Vaseline. Okay. It's done. That was the coolest yeah. thing ever. Okay, we are back in the car. Uh, that was so so fast. He removed my mole right then and there, which. Um, I mean, I kind of had a heads up that that was going to happen, but I'm glad that we were able to do it within this one visit. Um, the procedure was so, so fast and it didn't hurt at all. Like I didn't even feel the needle going into my skin to um, numb it. I'm not gonna lie, when he was like putting me back in the chair, I kind of got really nervous because I'm just thinking like knife to skin, you know? And um, the amount of pain was like none. It went really, really well and really fast and um, it wasn't as expensive as I thought either, so that's really good. So total, it was only $210, which part of the reason why I've been putting it off is for, I don't know why, I thought it was gonna be like $1,000 or something ridiculous like that. So um, overall, it was like a really pleasant experience and I wish I would have done this a lot sooner. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so it's been about six hours since I initially had my mole removed. I wanted to give you guys a quick update um, I think I'm gonna film this video in two parts, one with the actual um, removal of the mole and then I'll do another video with like the healing process. That way, depending on which part you're more interested in, you can go to that video. But I wanna show you guys what the mole, or lack thereof, looks like just a few hours after the removal and kinda give you guys an idea of what to expect. So I've had this band-aid on it since the removal. I'm gonna take it off and see what it looks like. I haven't taken this off yet, so I'm kind of nervous. And that, that is it. There was a little bit of blood on the band-aid. That was pretty much the extent of it. There's just, you know, just very, very little blood um, that he wiped off and then put the band-aid on, so not bad at all. It like stopped bleeding pretty much right away. I'm very, very curious to see how it heals. He says it's going to actually take a few months for it to fully heal because there's going to be a little bit of redness. But again, I'm going to update you guys with that in a later video so you can kind of get a full idea of what to expect with the healing process. So I was originally going to do a voiceover on the procedure video, but it was so quick. I wanted to give you guys a full idea of what to expect and how long the procedure took. So I included the entire process from the moment he injected me with the numbing um, injection till the moment he put the band-aid on my mole that he just removed. One part that I didn't get on video is the different types of removal options that you have for moles. The first one is the one that I had which is pretty much a shave and that is the more conservative approach. So pretty much what it is is the mole is kind of like that on the mound and you're just cutting um, it off right kind of even with the skin. The other approach is pretty much cutting a football shape uh, around the mole and then uh, cutting that entire piece of skin and then removing the mole with the skin around it um, and then stitching that back up. And that of course is going to be a uh, more drastic approach. You can't really undo it and there is more scarring with that approach. With this approach, the only con is there is going to be mole underneath where it's cut. There's a risk of it coming back, um, but you know. With this approach, you can always do the more aggressive approach later if the mold does come back, but you really can't undo it. You can't undo the scarring from the second approach. So um, that's kind of why we decided to go with the scraping approach. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys found this useful. I know that before the surgery, I try to look up videos and do my research on um, mole removal and there were a few videos out there but it were like a lot of like doctor videos of just the procedure you don't really get a lot of insights with patients um, and then there are also videos of people who've had it done but they, there just wasn't enough information about the procedure so with this one I'm hoping that um, because I was able to record the entire procedure for you guys you'll get a better idea of like just how quick it is and just how painless it is um, at least for me I will be sure to update you guys as my non-mole heals and let you guys know um, how it turns out, how it heals, and how quickly or how long it takes for it to heal. 
Anyway guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on the subscribe button right there. And click that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!